Hello everybody, this is Nicolado, back again with another video. So this time, i just like to share a little bit about me. How did I come about? What am I doing here? The story of Nicolado. So, the whole thing started about four years ago. When I didn't know who I was, I did decided to really explore with all the tools that were given to us in those books, seminars, whatever it was. I found information, new meaning to another word that I didn't know existed. So after that, I realized that, hey, I shouldn't chase money, houses, fame, women, whatever it is. But instead of that, find the inner peace that was deep inside of me long before. Because at the end of the day, is when you're doing something that you're passionate about, that gives you joy, happiness, and love. The time just flies. You don't realize it. But then, it's gone. You had fun. That's why I want to do is how can we be more present inside the society that is running around in circles like chasing tails from the dog, right? So let's move along as a collective, change the mind, change how we think, change everything about what we know and then realize that it's beautiful. We can be together. We can work together and be happy. As long as we find that joy, that happiness, the gift that we have inside, that's what I like. Like I like to see people for the gift, not for the outside. Like the way they look doesn't matter to me anymore. I just want to know the soul inside. What does it want? Who is it? Talk to me. Share your story. That's what the beautiful thing about life. When you realize those things, you want to talk to more humans, help them more and discover that they all want the same. Happiness. Back to source. Back at peace. That's what we're all after. So now I'm offering the gift from all the humans what they are good at I want to share it so that people know that there's people that are talented with a particular gift and ability that can help others and they're just helping others already but by spreading the words spreading a gift our gift we can all be together so what have I done last week last week I came to California to visit my dad. That was good to see old man. Try to get better in life, even though he know that in the past he wasn't good. So now he try to redeem himself to show people like, hey, I can still be good. I can still be loved and I can still give love. That's why he's trying. But you know how it is. Old men sometimes don't listen to the kid. That's why sometimes I feel so. But yeah, I just came to visit him because he's moving away, retiring this time. He wants to go to the motherland, back to Vietnam, Vietnam, where oh, he was originating from. So going to California, I visited my friend Keegan, and he has this gift, sound bath, and he can play this music with frequencies that can affect your whole chakras, your whole being. So it was so beautiful the first time I experienced it. So after that, I was like, I gotta share this gift to people to spread the word about this human being that is giving his best to heal others without asking for anything else. That's the beauty humanity that's what I've been doing the past three years was helping people really 
show and display the, the, the gift, the talent, whatever they want to do, whatever that they need a video for, because it's what I love to do. Then I never consider myself as good, but I'm good enough that I can help them, show them around to, to the world. Because video sometimes can be difficult. It's getting easier, but it was still a struggle. You gotta learn different things. You gotta put the work in. And so it is what I've done to really become a filmmaker. Now I'm helping others with this gift, I would say, to others, to let them do what they need. And that's a gift I'm offering my gift. Anyway, thank you again for watching. So you'll see the next clip will be about Keegan. He interests himself. And uh, we had a good conversation. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Subscribe for more content. Quantum movies. Indiegogo. Go check it out. It's coming out soon. We need your support. Without you, we cannot do it. It will take longer. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Keegan. Essentially, I'm one half of Peace and Harmony. My wife is absolutely amazing. She's preparing for her baby right now, and she's about due here in a few weeks. So, you know, <laughs> it's just me at the moment. And Peace and Harmony is a studio here in Orange County, California. We offer many ways at looking at ourselves. Our goal is to essentially help people remind themselves of how powerful they are, how infinite they are, and that we can heal ourselves together with our mind and with our body. And we incorporate that through different practices, through incorporating the mind, the body, and our soul. We do different practices like sound bath and sound healing. We do meditative practices. We do breath work, which is essentially bringing a consciousness and awareness to our breath, to our being, to our spirit. I like to believe that our breath is our connection to spirit. And in doing so, in bringing consciousness and awareness to our breathing, we can tap into other levels of consciousness and awareness. We can shed traumas and insecurities and doubts and things that are no longer serving us on this journey. And we can come into an awareness and beingness of expressing because a lot of us hold and we stifle. We're taught to not express. We're taught to not express who we are. I, I, I mean, I feel like this journey for me has been, and this may sound odd, but multiple lifetimes. Um, and I'm coming into the awareness now that I have been here before. And my life in this vessel that we call Keegan, <laughs> um, I went through a lot of things growing up. I was, I was raised strict Roman Catholic, so uh, being indoctrinated into the religious you know, ways of life and through Catholicism, um, I, I was conditioned my mind to believe certain things about the world, about God, and um, it confused me. It confused me for me personally, and that's just my experience with that particular religion, you know. And uh, I found an outlet through using substances. And from the time that I was 15 years old to the time I was 25, 26 years old. Um, I, I used a lot of different substances as a way to escape, as a way to self-medicate who I was and who I didn't want to be and who I thought I should be, all based on all of these outside things that were outside of me, outside of my being. See, I was using, um, it doesn't even matter what substance because I can use money and women and people and it doesn't matter. I have come to find out that the substances that I was using was just a symptom of who I was, my being at the time, which was sick. I was sick, confused, and broken, and I was trying to fill this hole inside of my being that could only be filled with, in my, in my personal um, opinion, something that is not of this realm. And that's God for me, and, and God can be anything, but 
what had happened was I was heavily involved in a, a program known as Alcoholics Anonymous. And AA completely saved my life. And the men in that program completely you know, changed my life. They, they taught me how to look at things a different way, look at my part, look at, look at the fact that there's certain behaviors in my life that are not serving me. They're bringing me the same, the same thing, suffering, pain, feeling of incompleteness. When I'm trying to engage in these behaviors, thinking that they're making me feel better, they're driving me further away from source. So with that type of community around me, looking and being conscious and aware of my behavior uh, that, that drove me deeper into my meditative practice. And in the last two years, uh, we all know with all of this craziness, with the people getting sick and all of that, uh, and everything shut down, um, and my sponsor passed away right before all of that due to some events, and I was lost. I was lost and broken. I was lost and broken and I didn't have an excuse of using drugs and abusing drugs and alcohol as the reason that I was lost and broken. So I had, I had hit a bottom or a level of depression and insecurity and unwholeness essentially at that time that I was looking for a way out and it wasn't gonna be through using drugs and alcohol. And I found a community of people that were bringing awareness to their beingness on a deeper level than the community I was already a part of. And in this community, some things started happening to me. And essentially, I like to say that I was activated. I was activated and I was brought closer to, to, to my higher power, to, to my God, to my being. And uh, I started receiving communication from other beings like the angels from other dimensions and they were guiding me and telling me that everything that I had done in my life and up until this point I had I had worked as a personal trainer as a master trainer at a, at a few gyms I had a heavy heavy involvement in personal training I was heavy into bodybuilding for a long time and you know in these last two years I completely changed and went into a different direction when all the gyms and everything closed I, I started pra practicing martial arts I started practicing qigong different forms of meditation different forms of energy work and all through these things that were happening I remembered who I was and why I'm here and I'm simply here to just share the loving vibrations that are channeled through me through the instruments that I play here and through just being here and holding a safe and sacred space so that we may heal and recognize our own true potential. You see, because we can stand on our own two feet, we don't need anybody else to tell us who we are, only we can tell us who we are. And I feel that that, that is why I'm here, to help remind us of our powerfulness from love, from the heart center, not from this ego mind that causes confusion and separation, but back to a sense of oneness. So, thank you. <laughs>